na 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 raps man raps man no, 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 no. I don't really have an end to this bit. We're going to be playing the slime boss. It's uh, Slay the Spy Downfall. No, ah, it did the thing again. I tried to make it not do that thing again, but then it did the thing again. All right. Remove a card from the deck. Obtain a random common relic. Obtain a curse in order to get a rare card. Lose the starting relic. So the Heart of Goo, whenever you consume it, heal to HP up to a total of 8 each combat so that you don't have the ability to just sit there forever and constantly heal all the way back up. Uh, kind of anti-turtle playstyles, which I'm completely fine with, right? The idea that you might want to stall out a fight for 50 turns so that you can get the optimal full healing set out of it. Because uh, there are enemies that don't scale against whom you can do that, but it's not necessarily a very fun way to play. And especially if it's the optimal way to play and you know it's the optimal way to play and you have to decide not to do it because, I don't know, you're in a position where you have to record a couple of these episodes each day and you don't necessarily want one of the episodes to be five hours long. Yeah, I mean, it seems like, to me, pretty reasonable. Uh, the base deck. Tackle. Wow, has that been increased in its damage? Thought it was like 912 or something before. 12, 16 is pretty big. Split no longer zero costs. Did it ever zero cost? Oh my God. I am apparently completely new to all of these. I could have sworn split zero costed because you have the ability to, or Rilla did have the ability to get it back with the things that would fetch zero costs you've exhausted. Anyhow, let's probably obtain the random common relic here. Um... Uh... Not great paths. We're actually in Ascension 10 as well, so elites do spawn more often. It's just a bit sad to only see two of them, frankly. So if I take that to elite path, I get one, two, two question marks, <laughs> one rest, and one shop. That's, that's pretty low value. Oh, gosh. Really? Am I going to commit to that? Let's get the relic. Mm. 10 block on turn one. I mean, that's good against only one of the elites, the sentinels. The other two do not attack on turn one. So I could go left here. I can see the world in which we go left. You know what? I can see that world so clearly. Is such that it is the world in which we live. Uh, okay, we can use this fire to upgrade tackle if we still have no damage by that point. And we can also use it to transform the ruby key we're about to get. Cool. That seems good. Corrosive spit strike opening pass. Defend will split into... Ooh, hang on. These have been changed. Bruises still attack for five. Gorilla is still attack three all. Meyer is still 2-2. Two, two. Didn't Leeching Slime used to be 2-2? Two, two, two damage as well as two block? Now it's 1-3? One, 1-3 three. One, is pretty good. One three actually might be styled around the leeching slime being able to stop a single instance of damage from a tackle. And if so, clever. I like it. Gives you a lot more ways to kind of play around the tackles. I mean, this is six damage, this is six damage, but this is six damage that heals us. in a bottle. Neat. Alright. Disrupting slams, slime spikes, and split bruiser. Slime spikes. Just gonna check the upgrades. Two weak to any minute that didn't attack. Didn't that used to be one week? It just upgraded its damage on the upgrade? Hmm. That's pretty good. 
It's like really good actually. Uh, split Bruiser upgrades to Command and Extra Time. I do like the idea of trying to go all in on like a, a split Bruiser Command deck, but I'm gonna go for the Disrupting Slam. Just AoE value right there. There's a pretty significant amount of my pathing on this floor that is determined by wanting to go to question mark events. Because question marks for this character in particular are absolutely radical. Okay, let's split the damage here, I think. That split didn't cost me max HP. It didn't cost me current HP. Interesting. I imagine that has to be part of the overhaul then. Okay, 12, 8, can't do that. So I'm just going to go for a default. Let me heal myself out on this turn. So 11. Yeah, I can. Nice. Rain of Goop, Living Wall, Goop Spray. So I still haven't really decided an idea for my deck, but uh, these are pretty insistent that I do something goop related, apparently. Living wall, 12 block, uh, 12 upgrades to 15, 4 applied goop to attackers, upgrades to 6. Goop spray, gain 5 block, apply 5 goop in 1 week to all enemies, upgrades to 6 block, as well as 6 goop and 2 week to all enemies. That's really efficient, right? Because we do have a AoE damage card already, so this gives us the ability to... I mean, so, so goop isn't damage, right? You do need to activate it later. So let's consider it to be, uh, what? 66% uh, of it is damage, right? So this is gain six block, deal four damage AOE, and two weak AOE. That's really, really good. Reign of goop, apply three goop to a random enemy six times upgrades to, sorry, four times upgrades to six times. I also do like reign of goop, right? This is better for a single target. This is better in AoE, right? This can also be good in AoE. Are we having a goopy run? I mean, well, goop can be a secondary thematic. Doesn't have to be our primary. I like goop spray here, actually. I'm just going to take it. Y'all. Oh, why did it have to be you? Ah, you're always so annoying when you stand up on turn one. Didn't even get the split on turn one there. Oof. I'm going to attack the goop until I've taken damage here. Split into leeching. And tackle. I do need to just throw out damage wherever I can get it. Gosh, maybe I even should have gone for Bruiser there. I mean, the goop is enhancing my damage to the point that I'm still probably going to make it through this. But the fact that I have to put <laughs> probably in that statement makes me feel a bit rough. All right. Just wanted to guarantee that I could get the kill that turn. Hey, Lizard Tail, when you would die, heal to 50% of your max HP works once. Recollect. Gain 8 block, return a random zero cost exhausted card into your hand. So now that can't get split. That might be part of the reason that split is now one cost uh, continually, right? Prepare, gain 10 block next turn, gain 2 energy and draw 2 cards, upgrade speed 15. Repair's not bad. That's quite good. It looks tasty. Consume. Adds a lick to your hand. Oh, it even upgrades the lick now. Recollect. This being able to be repeated is incredible, but the fact that this can be repeated makes me believe that a lot of the zero cost exhaust cards are, that, that were previously quite good have probably been made either one cost or removed. <laughs> Lest this be way too good. 
That said, let's take that gamble. Gonna go for the full block and get myself some AoE out here. Mm-hmm. I am here to assimilate. Borg, etc. Alright. One down. And look, you gotta follow it up with as much healing as you can get out here. That'll do. Spear tackle, press the attack, slurp. Slurp got made more powerful? Oh, wow. I don't really want to include sources of lick into the deck right now because I'm hoping that Recollect can get me something better than a lick back. Press the attack to consume command. I mean, look, I... Ooh, upgrades to command twice, actually, as well. Neat. Um, I mean, I already have a deck that applies goop to enemies reasonably consistently. Spear Tackle draws two cards. Upgrades to three. Ooh. Want to run a Tackle deck now. I'm going to take Press the Attack at the moment, though. I don't think this is the time for me to run that Tackle deck. Gremlin Horn. Whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card. Too good for us to turn down right there. AoE and Explore demands it of me. Also pop the Maya Slime out there to try and guarantee that I get all of the effect possible out of the Heart of Goo. I'm gonna might as well keep him weak for another turn. Can our average draw deal 26 damage? Hard no. But we do need to kill next turn, so it's another strike. Okay, that draw could have done it, but that doesn't... Look. <laughs> we drew the most damage we had in the deck at that point. That's not common. Rally the troops. Deal 7 damage. <laughs> the next two cards play this turn. Trigger a command. Yeah. Okay, so, well, okay, so, so they don't want me infiniting anymore. I, I see, all right. All right, I, I see it, I see it, it's fair enough. Um, equalize, heal eight, heal four. Consume play this twice. I mean, consume playing equalize twice is just incredible, but currently we've got a little bit of a command theming in here as well. And we've got a low cost card theming out of the Recollect. Goop Spray and Disrupting Slam can just be utility, you know, kilt things that I got, you know? Let's take a Rally the Troops early and see if we can go. Okay. One down. Don't really have any commands to issue there, but... That'll have to do. Split Maya. Split Maya is actually kind of interesting here, right? Gives me the ability to get out a... A card that is going to continually allow me to trigger consumes and commands. Right? Because if we command it, it triggers the goop on the enemies so then I can consume. So I don't have to put licks in the deck as my way of continuing that cycle. So a lot of cards in this deck that I desperately want to upgrade. I'm effectively leveraging the fact that I have the fairy in a bottle and the fruit juice against any HP I'll lose for the rest of the floor. No. So I'm figuring those are going to keep us alive enough for me to feel comfortable here. I could be wrong. Hmm. Sincerely hope I'm not, but I could be. Yeah, fine. Just land a kill. It's another press the attack for continuing the same thing we're trying to do at the moment. Upgrade two cards, cast random. 
It does allow you to choose the two cards. That said, I'm still not going to do it. Pardon what I'm lacking at the moment. It, it, am I lacking defense still? The Goop's Ray for weak. The Disrupting Slam also for weak. The Recollect. No, I'm actually kind of okay in terms of defense at the moment. What I really want is a large uh, defensive card. So it could be upgrading the Recollect to get it to 11 block. It could be taking one of the two cost cards that I keep seeing, like a um, uh, prepare. I was about to say collect. It's not collect. Perfect. Uh, we get to command twice there, and then Moy to you. Get a fair whack of healing out of that one. Yeah, it looks tasty is exactly the kind of thing that I'm trying to avoid having to use. Leeching Strike, Vicious Tackle. Yeah, these are all pretty reasonable. Don't know if they've been changed at all. Not cards I want, mind. At least not cards I think I want at the moment. One of the reasons that the Gremlin Horn is so good is fights like this. So I'm just gonna... Well, hang on. Yeah, I should still just... Insta pop one. Okay. And there we go. Now that's a much simpler fight. Armorous tincture, sure. Grow. Oh. How many slimes do I even really want out at the same time, eh? Haunting Lick's not bad. Haunting Lick is not bad. It could easily be the zero cost card that I want to consistently come back with Recollect, right? As long as I played Haunting Lick before it, then Recollect says gain, well, Recollect Plus says gain 11 block, apply one vulnerable. Well, or. In two cards as well. This is important for Rally the Troops. I play two cards getting these effects. Uh, gain 11 block, apply a vulnerable, apply four goop, and draw a card. It's a good card. It's just Grow is also there. I guess I have to decide, do I care more about my slimes or do I care more about myself as the largest of the slimes? I guess with the, the two pressy attacks and the rally the troops in the deck, I, I care about my slimes a lot. I'm actually a little tempted to take another pressy attack. The only problem is I'll have a difficulty past this point unless the Maya slime is specifically the one that I'm commanding consistently, getting the pressy attacks to constantly go off, which is helped by Haunting Lick. All right, there you go. That, uh, that shows it for us. Let's split into... Hmm. I kind of want to get the bruiser out there literally just damned. Or the Maya Slam just to guarantee more access to Goopery. Fine. Well, it goes atop our deck. We draw it instantaneously. Oof. Well, that's damage. We can get the split mire out in the next cycle. It's just, do I just double defend here? Is that really what we're doing? Feels like passing up a giant opportunity without press the attack. If this fight goes long enough, I just end up dying anyway. Please stop voiding my entire deck. 
it's kind of me. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. The enemy is unrelentingly hitting me this entire time. Use the Armorous Tincture to try and save some HP this turn. It's just going to be a triple block, I guess. There's another Void atop my deck. Goose Ray for weakness, and then I'm also going to Disrupt and Slam you for a second turn of weakness. Just assuming the possibility is that the enemy does something I end up annoying this turn. Hmm. Reasonable damage there. Turbo Sunder again. Well, at least we do have the ability to weaken the enemy this turn. Does feel like I die as soon as that Dark Orb goes off, so I have to make sure that that's what kills me for the Fairy in a Bottle. I don't do any damage to the enemy, and I also don't heal. Uh, no, I do three damage to the enemy if I try, uh, strike them right now. We pass on that. Leave the goop for a turn when the enemy is worse defended. Uh oh. Unfortunately, now the doom and gloom breaks this. So that dark orb definitely does just kill me when it comes up. With how thin the deck is, I'm pretty sure vexing draft would have actually harmed me a lot more than it would help me here. Yeah, we're dead. Oh, Lizard Tail! I forgot that I had Lizard Tail. <laughs> the funny thing is, we're still probably dead. Weird how that one works. Let's see if we can wriggle our way out of this one, though. Consider yourself wriggled. Liquidate cannot be used if you have a negative strength. You lose two strength in order to gain two potency. Upgrades to give you three potency. So I would have to find a way to give myself artifacts to prevent the strength loss or to gain strength in order to then use this. Absorb all slimes, split into a random specialist slime for each absorbed. Upgrades to then command them all. There's also leech slime. I think I'm going to go for the mass repurpose here. I like that. I like that idea. I don't necessarily have a way of trying to utilize the other one yet. Fusion hammer, astrolabe. <laughs> Can't be coffee dripper, so I guess it's astrolabe here. Uh, astrolabe on the three strikes isn't that bad. Sorry, I had to sneeze for a second there. Uh, we got Rally the Troops again, Douse in Slime, apply 14 Goop, the next attack on the enemy does not remove Goop, and Spreading Slime, effects that apply Goop, apply three more. Ooh. My Slimes just became real good in this deck. Not really too many good choices of paths here. Take the mastery purpose upgrade, try and find the way to utilize it. 
Um, let's just rally, split into Maya. Use the mass repurpose to get a different one. Torchhead. Hey, it gains damage from my strength. Why do I have two strength? Oh, because I consumed. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. I keep forgetting that you get a strength for consuming a slime. There we go. I'm just going straight for the kill there. Spiked energy drink. Pile on. Commands all slimes. Upgrades the commands all slimes twice. Thank you. Exactly the kind of thing we're looking for here. Hmm. Okay. Rally the troops. Split my defend. As much as I would like to play the douse slime there. This is ultimately the direction we want to go. So we have the ability to mass repurpose later. Speaking of mass repurposing later, let's split into a leeching slime. Give it a good old mass repurpose. This is the ghost flame. Deals three damage and applies three soul burn at the start of your turn. Not bad. Um... Got that ghost flame. Thank you, weakened defend, and then try and oh, hope the enemy doesn't do something real mean next turn. As it turns out, what they decided to do this... Wow. Oh, those cards could have helped. What they decided to do this turn is just be real mean. Rude. Living Wall is just a bit too expensive for me at the moment. Hungry Tackle, returns a random zero cost. Yeah, I'm fine without those. I don't know if I can afford to pay HP for these constantly. I think I'm going to leave because I'm actually having a lot of difficulty with HP with this deck. As much as I do have access to some healing, uh, I'm not currently uh, managing to utilize that correctly or effectively or uh, well at all. Okay. Split a bruiser and a mire and then just recollect. Take the two damage here, but it gives me my mass repurpose later on. There it is. There's two rally the troops left in there. I might even try and use the spiked energy drink to get free casts after the rally the troops. <gasps> oh, they stacked in giving me the next three, the next six cards played this turn trigger a command rather than triggering two commands for the next three. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> Significantly less exploitable. Level up for some potency, quite low cost. Sure. Coop armor, gain three block whenever you consume. That would actually be like a reasonable engine to try and defend myself right now. Also evil within right there. Consume, gain an energy and draw a card. The gain an energy and draw two cards on the upgrade there. Go Goop armor, split Maya. And I'm going to remove the tackle from the deck. Yeah. 
The idea here is that the goop armor just became a huge amount of our ongoing defense. Split into gorilla, and then if I pile on here, we kill the frontliner. Drawing an extra card. I'm gonna assume we can get that sneaky gremlin in the front line down without too much hassle. Okay, split my arrow again. Give him a good old repurpose. So ghost flame for some soul burn or douse in flame? Douse in slime rather, sorry. Instantaneous effects matter more right now. Because the fight's still going to be... It, it's not like we're closing out the fight, right? Were we closing out the fight, it would matter a lot more in the other direction. Okay, goop armor will... Goop and then murder you. It's the best I can do that. Ow! That'll do well enough for me at the moment at least. Backliner decides not to attack. Great, we're in a good position then. Safety confirmed. Shovel, you can now dig for relics at rest sites. Neat. Very seldom have time to actually dig at rest sites at the moment, but sure. Any chests, every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. I'm not going to really be able to capitalize on that. Feels like if I really want to do this deck, the mastery purpose shouldn't be here. Feels like maybe that's kind of antithetical to what I'm attempting to do here. Not too much I can do there either, unfortunately. No. On pass on the tackle strat right there. Rod of Bolstering Flame. The first time you play power card each combat, gain six block and one strength. I like that. I also really like the prepare. I wish I could get both. Unfortunately, in view of that, I'll have to settle for just this one. Thank you for at least deciding not to attack this turn. We're just indefensible right now. Like, it's... Uh, take nine on this turn. We can't really run enough anti-attrition to actually get back in this here. Ain't 
Juice and Slime with the extra draw. Much appreciated. Leeching. Press the attack again and roll through. No. It's the defensive direction we need to pivot. Okay, Protector Slime actually starting to defend us here. Good, good. Like to see it. I mean, he's also at any zero costs, but we still need to play that. 21 incoming here. Um, not too many different ways to play that turn, though. the kind of uh, goop armor I was really hoping to get. Consume it for more block as well as hit the enemy again. take five this turn and then we'll be able to close out the fight. Captain's Wheel as well as a regen potion. Regen potion's huge right there. Slime Brawl. Oh, it had its cost increase pretty, pretty drastically. I think the big problem right now is just that I have an Astrolabe rather than an extra energy. It's really hard to play enough things to actually get value. Also, Mastery Purpose is constantly coming out super early. So I need a thinner deck or more ways to generate slime super early on that don't rely on me drawing the, you know, three slime cards that I have in the deck would also be nice. This isn't me blaming the card. This is me blaming... Well, let's avoid the word blame. This is me trying to identify what weaknesses exist in this deck so that I can build differently next time. Disrupting Slam's great here. There's our full block. Thank you, Captain's Wheel, for providing a huge amount of the block that we are desperately needing this turn. Actually gonna go for the defense. I'll tell you what, Goop Spray and Disrupting Slam, the two cards that don't really build towards the thing that I'm trying to do with the rest of the deck, have been consistently some of the most useful cards here. In terms of preventing us from being deceased, quite good. Megalic! One week and full goop to all enemies. Yeah, that's another card I'd be happy to get back. Also, it's another zero cost card to try and lower the average cost of the deck. Keep the front line vulnerable so I can try and get through. Not really too many ways to play that turn either.
split for a thriller. It doesn't matter because we can mass repurpose. Okay, so the Cult of Slime is going to increase its damage by one every time, and the Time Slime applies a week every turn as well. Okay, we did finally get the back line off. Oh. We're still technically a... Still technically alive! Is what I was going to say. Oh, good lord. At the pedal to metal the entire time, 40 minutes in, still only just made it to the end of the second floor, the city. We were definitely lacking defense following the, the initial assessment of having enough defense in the deck. Upgrading a couple of the defensive cards there definitely would have helped. Both these rallies of the troop didn't need to be upgraded. One of them was upgraded courtesy of the... Uh, courtesy of the Astrolabe. The other one was upgraded courtesy of the me. As it turns out, when Astrolabe gave us Doused in Slime as well as Spreading Slime at the exact same time, it was giving us energy problems while we'd just taken a relic that did not provide energy. I tried to use Slime Brawl so that I would have the ability to escape that, just have a couple of slimes on the board, then play Slime Brawl, have that escape by playing far more energy worth of stuff than I necessarily would have any access or reason to have access to at the time. This is... This is an example of, like, here are two pieces that are good kind of utility kit pieces, and then a lot of the rest of this is me trying to build some sort of engine... Specifically, some sort of engine that has the ability to command consistently, commanding Maya Slimes consistently. Uh, the Maya Slimes applying the goop back to the enemies so that then I can consume from the enemies in order to get more block. And use the consume command in order to get more goop so I can get more command so that I can get more consume and cycles on like that, right? And then the extra pieces in this deck were like a capstone piece in the mass repurpose that I want to play after all of that has been going okay for a while, after I've reached a level of stability with that. Then I play the mass repurpose so that I can upgrade them into significantly more powerful units and then try and leverage that. Um, that wasn't working because I would just bleed, just bleed ridiculously in the first two turns. If... If I was able to get, you know, the engine running, it would have to cut a lot of fat here. Level up doesn't need to be here. Spreading slime doesn't need to be here. Dowson slime doesn't need to be here. Both of those are from the Astrolabe again, though, so, you know, forgive them that fact. Those are the obvious examples of the things that don't need to be here, and then the things that did need to be here. Uh, pretty much every copy of Prepare that I saw the entire run the block for 10 upgrades to 15 on this turn exhaust to energy skill that gives you next turn two more cards and two more energy that would give me the ability to try and more consistently get this set up correctly it would also mean that rally the troops would often be in a hand with more cards so it has the ability to actually reach its full potential to rally the troops is just not a thing i think i should really run anymore unless i've got like a particularly thick deck the way that they stack with one another is not no, like, you, you'd need to have a pretty wild deck to generate significantly, uh, generate enough cards to actually exhaust all six of those plays, all six of those commands. So instead, it feels like press the attack and pile on and things like that are, are, are much more significant ways to actually attract and trigger that at the time. I tried to later on address my lack of defense with relics. That was the pickup of the Rod of the Bolstering Flame, was just for an extra point of, well, extra point of strength aside, for the six block that it would provide. Captain's Wheel was quite a lucky pickup. 
obviously without the lizard tail and the potion, we would have actually died on floor one, just due to having no defense in that final fight. No ability to repeatedly defend against large hits. That's something Prepare wouldn't have actually prepared us for, pun not intended. But definitely not avoided. We could see in the defect fight that we needed to consistently generate large amounts of block. And while we had the ability to consistently generate weakness, and I am very, very gracious for that, uh, we just didn't have the ability to generate large enough block consistently so that we would uh, not die in that fight. Went in with 41 HP and then left the fight limping after having had two different... Two different? Yeah, two different resurrection effects trigger in that fight. That's a lot. That's uh, a lot. Bugger. That's not how we wanted that one to shake out, but hey, we've got to learn the new character before we can utilize and then break the new character. Before the moment. I'm feeling pretty humbled by the last couple of runs. For the moment. My name is Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below. Slay the Spire Downfall, specifically, as well. There's a playlist in the description down below with all of my content for this game, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.